There's trouble. What do you think, Jamie? Let me see if I can scare this bunny away. Yep, there he goes. And they didn't even know. Well, hello everyone. I am working from home. I thought I would give this vlogging thing a try again. I'm between calls right now, so I thought I would check in. I'm sitting here working at my kitchen table. Uh, my dogs are hanging out on the chairs behind me, having a good good little sleep and a good day. And um, <laughs> yes, that is a lion wearing a pussy hat. We decorate. <laughs> um, but I wanted to check in with you about what I'm reading and my reading plans because I have a lot of reading that I need to get done this week. So if you saw the video that I posted yesterday, you know that I uh, just started in on a fourth book. So I am currently reading The Stonewall Reader. That's a buddy read with Ollie at Book Draw. I started reading The Bluest Eye uh, by Toni Morrison um, in honor of her since she died. I am still halfway through on this one because I have not made any progress since the weekend, but I'm really loving it. I had started Please Look After Mom, an audio, on audio, um, that's by Kyung Suk Shin. I was, had started it because of Women in Translation Month and was really enjoying it. I got about a third in, but I put it on hold because now I have the audio of The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. I managed to get about an hour and a half uh, of that in yesterday. Uh, and a little bit again this morning. I have to, um, I, I, I'm gonna have a project this afternoon where I should be able to put in my earbuds and get some listening done on that. So we'll see how far I get. Hang in there. Who's a sleepy girl? Who's a sleepy girl? Hi. You good girl. And who's a sleepy boy? All right, it is lunchtime. I was trying to read out here with the dogs and uh, Guinness brought me this toy from inside and then promptly walked away again. So, not quite sure what that's about, but I am gonna try to get a little bit of reading done in Stonewall and uh, see where I get from there. And actually, Guinness is going to the bathroom, so never mind. It's going to be a dog-centric lunch. <coughs> Definitely not getting it. <coughs> Well, I just took the dogs outside and it started to rain. So you can probably guess it's not going very well. All right, we're back inside and I am hanging out here with my laptop and Guinness. Jamie is asleep in a chair over there. Uh, she was just barking at a woman who had the audacity to walk by with her baby in a stroller but that has passed. Jamie is now asleep, so hopefully there will be nothing loud going on in the background while we do this in terms of reading. So, as you know from yesterday, I have backburnered both Please Look After Mom by Kyung Suk Shin and The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison so I can finish The Stonewall Reader and The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. So I am almost halfway through The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. I got some good listening done this morning. Um, I, I'm enjoying it so far and I managed to finish part one of the Stonewall Reader which is from the before Stonewall era. I'm really enjoying this. This is a buddy read with Ollie over at Book Draw and we've had some really good conversation about this. A lot of personal connections that we both have to a lot of the material. But one of the things that's really interesting is that a lot of the stuff that um, the gay liberation movement was struggling with back then are a lot of things that still come up today like the question of intersectionality how quote unquote aggressive to be you know especially this year because it was the 50th anniversary of stonewall there were a lot of people who wanted to protest pride marches because they felt like the pride movement has gotten away from what it started out as with stonewall which was 
an activist movement. Now it's more like a party. And they were struggling with questions of that back then. Uh, back then they were also struggling with a lot of questions of how out somebody should be, how vocally act vocal they should be about their rights. Um, that is still a question today, obviously not as much as it was then, but it's just really interesting. So now I'm, I, I am up to the point where I am getting into the Stonewall riot itself, um, which means I'm caught up to where Ali is. So now I need to send, my next step is to send him a message um, and continue chatting about that. My plan is finish the Nickel Boys and, in the next day or two and then get back to Please Look After Mom, which I had been enjoying. And uh, maybe if I'm not finished with the Stonewall Reader by the weekend, I will uh, pick up Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye again on either uh, uh, Saturday, probably not, so more like Sunday. Um, Saturday, there are Highland Games near where I'm going to be, and uh, we have plans to go. So that should be interesting. But that's where I'm at with reading right now, and we'll see how far I get. One more quick note about the Stonewall Reader as it begins to thunderstorm. <laughs> um, this book is ruining my TBR. I mean, just wrecking it to pieces. Um, because essentially this is a collection of excerpts from larger works uh, said divided into three sections. One before Stonewall, one during Stonewall, and one after Stonewall. And because they're excerpts, a lot of them have encouraged me to want to read the larger work. Some of, A lot of them have referenced other works. Um, and I've wanted, I've added them to my TBR as well. So this is just ruining my life and I'm only through part one. So I can't wait to see what happens in the next part. Today, I actually did order three books. I'm not gonna talk about them in depth too much because I, I, once I get them, I will include them in a book haul. Um, but I did wanna shout out the publishing company because I think it's a really cool thing. Uh, Arsenal Pulp Press started what they call Little Sisters Classics. It's a series of books. Um, that are considered gay and lesbian classics that have are in danger of being forgotten. So they have reprinted them in these very pretty editions that have uh, the original cover inset into the design of the other. I'll, I'll put up an example of one that I ordered here. Um, and I, I can't wait to talk about them a little more. Um, in a book haul, once I get them in, I'm looking, eyeing some of the other ones and thinking about maybe ordering them, but I can't go crazy because, you know, money <laughs> but uh yeah I'm, I'm i thought that was just a really cool thing and uh, a really cool initiative that they're doing so i thought i would shout it out and just generally let you know that the stonewall reader is ruining my tbr so there you go yep it is really raining now It's Sunday. I just had lunch with my husband, came back to my car to get my book and my grocery bag so I can get uh, that portion of my day going. Uh, we had a lot of fun at the Highland Games yesterday. Did not get a whole lot of reading done last night, but I did make a lot of progress in the Stonewall Reader, which means I can have a Toni Morrison date today uh, because I, I, I got pretty caught up in that. I am about halfway through the during Stonewall period of the Stonewall Reader, and I'm halfway through this one, so I want to make some progress today. And we'll see how I go. I did not make a lot of progress with audiobooks in the last few days, so I still have Please Look After Mom to get to, and I still have The Nickel Boys. I'm only a little more than halfway through that, but there are only about two and a half hours left in the whole audiobook, so I should be able to finish that soon. But there you go. That's my reading update. I'm going to go in and get 
my Toni Morrison date going. Okay, I should just never walk into the book exchange, my local used bookstore, because this place is trouble. I ventured back into the literature clearance section and found this. Now, I already had these three books and found all these. So I was going to get myself a copy of Little Women because I listened to a podcast, Little Gold Men, talking about the film adaptation that's coming in. It got me really interested in finally reading this late in August because I'm thinking of joining the readathon if I can catch up on my current reading. Uh, so I wanted to get myself a copy. Summons to Memphis. Uh, this is part of my third surprise project. So it would make sense to get myself a copy, but then there's Breath Eyes Memory, The Stone Diaries, also a Pulitzer Prize winner, The House of Mirth. I love The Age of Innocence. So, uh, Olive Kitteridge, also a Pulitzer Prize winner. And this is by uh, a Nobel laureate I talked about recently. He wrote that book, Half a Life. Um, so, yeah, and there are more in here that I would totally grab. So, by the way, Hollywood is crazy. That is Gregory Peck playing a Mexican. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I did the math. All of these are about 20 bucks. I gotta decide what to do. Update, I bought all of them. Treat yourself. <laughs> so I made really good progress in Beloved today. I only have about 50 pages left. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little break and indulge my other big ha habit slash project, which is that I want to watch all of the movies that have won an Academy Award for Best Picture. From the soundtrack that is playing from the DVD menu, I'm willing to bet some of you can guess what movie I'm about to watch. So, let's see how it is. I am really excited today. Why? Because I finished The Bluest Eye last night. So I, I finally finished one of these four books that I have been working on. Um, really enjoyed The Bluest Eye a lot. Very good book. It's definitely up there in the mix for my favorite books of the year. I will talk about it more in a separate video. Um, but I'm very happy that I finished this. So, and then in other news, I finished Chariots of Fire, which was the movie I was watching the other day, and I will be finishing The Nickel Boys today as well, because I have only about an hour and a half of the audiobook left, and I have a project that I need to work on today, which should give me plenty of time to uh, work on that audiobook and get through it. I'm really enjoying that book as well. Um, you know, the, the funny thing is, I, I, I am not the type of person who usually reads four books at once. I, I will do two books at a time because usually I'm reading a print book and listening to an audiobook at the same time. There's not usually much more overlap than that. This was just kind of a unique circumstance for me. But so, so thank you for following along <laughs> with me as I work my way through it. I'm very happy that after today, I'm gonna to be back down to two books. I took a little bit of a break from the Stonewall Reader to get make some progress on The Bluest Eye. And um, I, I'm really enjoying this book. Can't wait to get through it. All of them are good, oh, that's the thing. I was, I was also really enjoying uh, Please Look After Mom before I kind of put that to the side to listen to the audio of The Nickel Boys instead. So these were all really good books. Most of the time, if I do have reading overlap, it's because I'm not enjoying a book. I, these are all four genuinely good books. I'm really excited to finish all four of them. Uh, but I'm very, also very, I am very excited that after today I'm going to be down to two books again. And I'm trying to decide where, I, where to go from here. I still want to uh, participate in the late in August read-along that Bookish is co-hosting, um, if I can, so that will probably be my next physical book once I have finished uh, The Stonewall Reader. In fact, <laughs> I, I've been talking about how I'm really glad to get down to two books, but I, I might pick up Light in August and do both of these at the same time, so I might do it to myself again. We'll see. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's been good. Um, it's also a beautiful day, so I'm looking out the window and enjoying it, and I hope you are enjoying your day wherever in the world you are.